Good day learners, this is Is Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the life cycle of a lizard. Lizards might be underappreciated creatures since they are quite less helpful to us than other animals. But little did we know that there are many lizards on planet Earth. In fact, there are more than 5,000 species existing today. Some people keep them as pets. Pets like the chameleons, birdie dragons, and iguanas. We might mistake them sometimes as snakes, especially the small ones. So let's see how they grow to become a beautiful lizard. So let's start with their birth. In most species of lizards, the life cycle begins with the lizard hatching from an egg. Lizards including iguanas, geckos, and water dragons lay soft and leathery eggs. The females bury their eggs in holes and leave the eggs on their own. They are quite irresponsible for their children since they don't care what happens to them. On another perspective, they are maybe just that confident that their offspring will survive in the wild. Some of the mothers will return to warm the eggs to make sure they hatch healthy and those are good parents. Although a few of the lizards give birth to live young like we do, some examples are Solomon Island and Blue Tongue Skink. Their incubation time is much longer compared to the birds and it varies depending on what type of lizard it is. For example, frilled lizard eggs hatch in approximately 70 days while green iguana eggs hatch in 90 days. All eggs have one characteristic in common. They contain enough food for the baby to survive inside. After they grow their organs, bones and their bodies, hatchling lizards try to break open the egg with their egg tooth or caruncle, but they remain in the egg for approximately 12 to 24 hours to eat some remaining yolk before actually exploring the world. And that's like finishing your plate before you go. Next is juvenile lizards. Once they're out of the egg, juvenile lizards are now capable of feeding and taking care of themselves. That includes hunting smaller animals. They are naturally born hunters. They grow fast by eating as much as they can without the support of their parents. There are no noticeable changes when they grow like metamorphosis in butterflies or in frogs. They just increase in size. Fun fact learners, did you know that lizards have some amazing superpowers? Well, first, they can climb anywhere using their sticky feet. And second, they can regenerate faster than other animals. If you cut off their tails, it will just grow back. And sometimes they can go invisible too. And lastly, they have a long stretchable tongue that is lightning fast. Next is the adult lizards. Well, all animals, once fully grown, may begin ma mating with others. But mating time or season depends on what species there is. Like birds, they have one hole or genitalia for mating and for excretion. An example of mating season is when the frilled lizard mates during the wet season. In this time, males usually attract females by spreading their frill that looks like their big ears, like in elephants. After mating, females lay 8 to 23 eggs. Females may lay up to two sets of eggs each breeding season. On the other hand, green iguanas begin mating when they are approximately 16 months old. Mating occurs during the dry season, usually in the fall. This time, they don't have frills. Instead, males attract females with their colors and display such as head bobbing and push-ups. Adults mate and lay eggs and the cycle begins all over again. So learners, even though lizards are underappreciated, they control pests too and provide beauty to nature. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. Have a nice day.